Welcome to the Proton Guru video practice for topic 5.4. These problems will give you practice on palladium catalyzed carbon carbon bond forming reactions. Some brief and straightforward reading to get you ready for these kinds of problems can be found in the Organic Chemistry 2 Primer 2019, and you can find additional chemistry videos and information on how to match these videos to your particular course's textbook at protonguru.com. There are several types of palladium catalyzed coupling reactions covered in the primer and we're going to review some of these here. There are a couple ways that you can encounter questions about these palladium catalyzed coupling reactions. One of the most common is simply asking you to provide the major organic product of the reaction shown, and then to provide the name of this type of reaction. It's always a good idea to first highlight and identify the units that can couple in these types of palladium catalyzed coupling reactions. One of the coupling partners will always have to have some type of leaving group. A halide or a triflate are the most common leaving groups available. And then you'll need to have some other coupling partner. We've seen a variety of different coupling partners, organotin, Grignard reagents, organoboron species, and in this case, alkenes. And specifically, one of the hydrogens on the alkene will be replaced by the group with the leaving group. So this carbon is going to attach to one of these carbons in place of one of the hydrogens. In identifying what the major product will be, you would think that the coupling would occur at the hydrogen that is least sterically encumbered, that is farthest from this other large group, so not right beside it, not cis to it, probably over here. So if we attach the red group and the blue group together from this carbon to this carbon, we should get a product that looks like this. And regarding the name of this reaction, the palladium catalyzed coupling of an alkene with an aryl halide is known as the Heck coupling reaction. Another way that you could encounter these types of palladium catalyzed coupling reactions would be trying to fill in starting materials for a particular product. In this case, we're provided one of the coupling partners and asked to produce this given product and specifically asked to use a Suzuki coupling reaction. So we start off by identifying the pieces that need to couple together. We're provided with a piece already that has this triflate leaving group. That manifests in the product as this species. This carbon with the leaving group will end up attached to this carbon. This carbon has to have the other reagent that will be used in the Suzuki coupling reaction. And for a Suzuki coupling, this is some type of organoboron species. You could use a boronic ester or a boronic acid. And next, we're asked to couple this Grignard reagent with this compound that has a leaving group. So we identify that this carbon should couple with this carbon to form the product. And we can highlight in colors the two units that will end up attached to each other at that junction point. And that allows us to rather easily figure out the product should be this piece from the Grignard reagent and this piece from the aryl bromide. And the name given to the coupling of a Grignard reagent with an aryl halide is the Kumada coupling. And here's another very similar example. We have an organotin species. So you identify that as one of the leaving groups in this case. And then you have, of course, the bromine that can leave from this carbon. If we highlight again the two pieces that will attach to one another, we have this aryl group with the amine ortho to the attachment site, what will become the coupling site. And we have this blue aryl group where the coupling carbon is meta to this ethyl group. And that leads us to the conclusion that this would be our product. You've got the coupling where the tin used to be attached and this site where the bromine used to be attached. And a coupling reaction between an organotin and an aryl halide is known as the Stille coupling reaction. Our last problem involves the coupling of an alkyne with an aryl bromide. And we know that the coupling can take place similarly to what we saw with the alkene, where a hydrogen is replaced by coupling to this carbon. So this hydrogen will be removed, and this bromine will be removed, so that the alkyne carbon here will end up attached to that carbon there. They're going to be coupled to one another. So we can highlight those two pieces to keep track of all the elements. And if we do that, we would have this product. And the coupling of an alkyne with an aryl halide is known as the Sonigashira coupling. 